everyone, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Today I'm going to be doing a behind the scenes energy check-in for the Divine Feminine community. So um, for the Divine Femmes, this is just messages and guidance that Spirit wants to relay to you, what is going on behind the scenes, what is going on underneath the surface. Uh, so with that being said, I want to thank all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and if you are just currently checking out my reading and I resonate with you and you like the way I read, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. So with that being said, let's get it. Spirit, thank you for your messages. Please share with me any messages you have for the Divine Feminine at this point in time, what is going on behind the scenes for the Divine Feminine. Thank you for your clear and concise messages, Spirit. What is going on behind the scenes for the Divine Feminine? What would you like them to know? Yes, I'm Canadian. I don't really much care for blue um, for baseball, but I like this jersey. It was a gift. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for your messages. What is going on behind the scenes for the Divine Feminine? Thank you for your messages, Spirit. So I know some people, they, they are impatient with the, the shuffling, but you can always uh, skip forward. Because I know some people like to see the cards being shuffled as well. Thank you for your messages, Spirit. your guidance spirit for the divine feminine what is your guidance for the divine feminine at this point in time on their journey at this point in time what is your guidance for the divine feminine Okay, so the cards drawn were Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael in reverse, Angel of Strength. I just love this card, it looks strong. And Indecision. So I'm just going to pull some clarifying cards for this. Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael in reverse. Thank you for your clear and concise messages, Spirit. Please clarify fourth chakra archangel Raphael in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify. Angel of Strength. Thank you for your message, Spirit. Please clarify Angel of Strength. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for your message. Ooh. Okay. That one just flew out. Please clarify indecision spirit. Thank you. Thank you for your messages. Please clarify indecision. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so 
We're going to clarify fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Okay, Divine Fams. So, you found strength in learning how to love yourself. Uh, so in the past, you had a lot of inner work to do on your heart chakra. A lot of you um, had um, healing that need to be done from previous relationships, heartbreak from previous relationships, inner child wounds, inner healing, in terms of loving yourself, in terms of being able to love others. Hmm. Some of you had to do some really, really deep healing because you, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing, oh, oh, I'm feeling this heaviness, like this deep sadness, this deep sadness that kind of like covers my heart. So some of you were in a relationship with a karmic that completely broke your heart broke your heart and caused you to completely shut down yeah it, it caused you to um, lose a part of yourself this has to do with inner child issues as well uh, you did not love yourself you had to learn how to love yourself so spirit took you through a process of teaching you how to heal yourself how to heal your heart so a lot of you divine femmes were going through um, very deep um, sh heart chakra healing. Like heart chakra blocked, completely blocked. I'm seeing a, it, it's black, it was black. So you had to heal that. You had to go back and dig really deep as to the, um, the issues, the root causes of why you're, you closed your heart off. For some of you, this happened in adolescence. Some of you, childhood. Some of you, adolescence. Some of you, this was in adulthood, in a relationship, a significant relationship with a karmic. And it was a lesson. It was a lesson to teach you how to open your heart. Right? How do you learn how to open something if it's not closed? So from you learning how to love yourself you were able to learn how to create abundance for yourself. This is not just about abundance in the physical plane. This is about uh, spiritual abundance, inner abundance, abundance on all levels. Spirit was taking you on a journey to teach you how to open doors for yourself from self-love. So as within, so without. And you learned that. And you continue to learn that. And you're getting damn good at it. <laughs> You're getting really, really good at it, Divine Femmes. Really good at it. So, yeah. So, in the recent past, you had to heal from a broken heart. A really deep, significant relationship that you had with a karmic that completely brought you to your knees and caused you to block, close off your heart chakra, the energy in that area and that chakra was just, it was not flowing. I'm seeing a, um, a pipe and one end is like, like it's blocked. So it's being filled up at the end, right? It's not flowing. And that's what it was with your energy. It was blocked. You closed it off. Yeah. This relationship that you were in or, uh, whatever happened when you were adolescent or when you were a child, uh, I'm also, I'm seeing a child that um, didn't get a lot of emotional, not, there wasn't a lot of affection in your household. You never got told I love you a lot. You never got hugged a lot. And this caused you to grow up kind of hard. Like this hard exterior, like I don't need anybody. I got this. I'm my own woman. I'm my own person. I don't need anybody. You know, and this caused you to um, to not see opportunities before you, to not learn how to create true abundance in your life. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of um, surface level abundance, fleeting abundance, you know, um, sleeping with people that you had no intentions of being in a real deep committed relationship with or getting with people. So because of this, you attracted uh, relationships 
And this could be intimate relationships. This could be plutonic relationships with people that were very surface. So there was no depth, no substance to the relationship. And that was because your heart chakra was blocked off. But as you healed, you were guided to heal that. So now you have an abundance, an abundance of possibilities before you um, in all areas of your life, all areas. As you see here, this is, it's a, you see the pentacles, you see the butterfly, you see the owl. So this is you learning from uh, self-love through self-love. So from self-love and through self-love, you learn how to create abundance for yourself in all areas of your life. So this is you, Divine Feminine, saying, I love me. I put myself first. I am a priority. So it was like Spirit was helping you to go back and relay the foundation of yourself. Because there are, there's blessings for you. Blessings. Blessings. As within, so without. Okay, okay. So currently, Divine Fams, you are standing in your power. 100% standing in your power. You see the look on this woman's face? She knows she's a shit. She knows she's it. What is it? Uh, um, she knows she's beyond bad bitch. She's goddess. I'm on my goddess. I'm in my goddess mode. And she owns it. Divine Fam, you are owning your... Um, your feminine energy, you're learning how to balance your masculine and feminine energy. You are realizing now that you are powerful beyond what you ever thought of and you are grateful for it. You are listening to your divine guidance, your inner guidance, you're following your intuition and you know what to do. You know what you're supposed to do now. And this, oh, you see how beautiful spirit is? Do you see how beautiful spirit is? How beautiful the universe is? You are being prepared to walk in your power. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am getting goosebumps. Okay, angels. Thank you. I know you're here. I know you're here. Um, divine fams, you are being prepared. So everything that happened before with the karmic, with the people in your life that weren't serving you, that weren't shit, they weren't shit, they were coming with bullshit. You learned how to level up through self-love because your abundance comes from the inside you create from the inside out and you realize that and you know that now and you're walking in that and it is your gratitude it is your appreciation for the little things that are bringing the big things into your life you know that by being grateful you know by, that by be listening to your intuition and following the signs of the universe, listening to your guides, listening to your angels, following the signs and symbols that are leading you on your journey, that you will get what it is that you desire, your heart's desire. You are learning how to create. You know that whatever you want, you can create it now. You know you're powerful. I keep hearing, I'm a divine femme, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who I am? That's okay. I know who I am. I'm a divine femme, baby. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, wow. Divine femmes, you are powerful. You are beautiful. And it is showing, it is radiating off of you. Right? You're walking in gratitude. You're walking in your knowing you know what you're supposed to be doing. And you're doing it. And you are being led because I'm hearing um, you're being rewarded for a job well done. You're being rewarded for closing out a cycle and moving forward on your new path, a new direction. Listening to your intuition, listening to your guides for being, for lack of a better word, obedient. And it's more of a, it's not a, I'm just going to listen to what anybody, you're listening to yourself. You're listening to spirit. You're listening to your, you're allowing your higher self to lead. So this is for the divine fam that um, is walking in their purpose. They, um, they listen to, they, they heeded, I'm hearing they heeded the call, right? So you are, you are on mission. 
You were on mission. And you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you're guided and you're protected and you're supported 100% by the universe. 100%. So, so continue to walk in your power. Continue to, to know that you know that you know that this is what you're supposed to be doing and it doesn't matter what anyone says, what anyone thinks or how anyone feels about it. You're doing what you came on this planet to do and it was not easy to get here. You see, do you see the look in this woman's face? <laughs> this is the look of listen to me. Don't tell me no shit about shit because I know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a look of determination, of confidence. That's what's going on with you, Divine Fam. This is the Divine Fam that I'm speaking, speaking about. This is the Divine Fam that I'm speaking about. Yes, baby, yes, yes. You're on your job and you're grateful for it. You're grateful for the opportunity to be able to, to help humanity in your own way. So Divine Femmes, the Divine Femme that this reading resonates with, um, I'm laughing, right? Because in the near future, you have a decision. Spirit is giving you um, a decision to make. If you want to be with your divine masculine or are not right because as you work on yourself and you do your inner work and everything and you're good you're good to go and you continue to improve continue to be in mission now the reward comes but it's your choice if you want it or not and I see you uh, coming to like a crossroads <laughs> okay so some of you divine femmes some of you divine femmes are going to um, decide that you don't want to be with your divine masculine because they're not ready yet and you, you're not waiting. You're just going to move on with your... It's not even that you're not waiting. It's just um, some of you decide to just stay in mission while you're waiting for them, right? But it's not an outright, okay, we can keep doing this back and forth and, and I'll, I'll be here. You're focused on your own shit, right? So in the future, you get a choice if you want to be with them or not. But your divine masculine, um, some of you, your divine masculine wants to come in. Your divine masculine is ready. And it's up to you if you want to go to go that route or not. But it's, um, remember, it's not a one or the other. It's a, I'm on my mission and I can have my relationship now too. It's just up to you, right? But some of you are going to say, you know what? I'm busy and you're on some bullshit. So when you're ready, you get at me. But until then, I'm going to continue to stay on my mission. But this, the, the decision will be there and the choice is yours. Wow, you, you, you ladies, you're walking in your um, divine femininity, you know, like... The strength of it all. I feel, as I'm reading this, I feel powerful. Very, very powerful. And it's a sure power. You know that um, that self-confidence? I always tell my daughter, you want to know what the most beautiful thing is? Self-confidence. Nobody can take that away from you. You can't buy it. You can't borrow it. It comes from within. And there is a confidence about you, Divine Fam, to the point where you're like, listen, listen. It's either you're ready or you're not. But either way, I'm good with me. Either way, I am focused on what I'm supposed to be doing. And that, that makes your Divine Masculine look at you. He sees you as sexy as fuck. And it's your confidence. It's your respect for yourself. It is your self-love and knowing your worth that is drawing him to you, right? And this is, um, th this is a caring connection. This is your divine counterpart, your divine masculine. He wants to be with you. He sees. He sees it. He sees what you finally see in yourself. And it is, it is, what is, what do my kids say? It's, you have the drip. 
I'm old, whatever, right? But you, you're dripping, you're oozing confidence, you're oozing self-love, you're oozing, I got this. And he sees it and he, it's just, it's making him go crazy. He wants his woman. He wants to be with his divine counterpart. So you have a decision to make in the future, divine femmes, if you want this or not. But it's here for you. It's here for you now. If you so choose, the decision is yours. Spirit is saying the decision is yours. But you can have the best of both worlds. You do not have to choose. A spirit is saying that you don't have to choose. The reward is here for you. I don't know if any of you can hear my, my daughter in the background, but that's, that's going to be my cue to wrap this up. Uh, we're going to the park today. <laughs> so um, I think this was a great, great reading uh, for the Divine Femmes of what's going on behind the scenes. Yes, honey, yes, walk in your power. Walk in your knowing. Uh, so if this reading resonated with you in any way or you think it resonates with someone that you know, please like, share, and subscribe. This is about spreading awareness and helping others to make better, wiser choices for themselves. You know, um, nothing is written in stone. It's all a matter of the actions you take. Uh, this is just general guidance. This is a general check-in for behind the scenes for the Divine Femmes. So thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. You have yourself a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night. And goodbye.